Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Solgenics Channel, rising to the challenges of rare disease treatment. We have the pleasure to be joined by Dr. Kim, who's going to give us some insight on the recent uh, grant that was offered from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration that we're going to be diving down into. But first and foremost, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. And always a pleasure to get you on. So first and foremost, the big news here is the U.S. Food and Drug Administration awarded $2.6 million for an orphan product development grant for an expanded study of Hybrite in the treatment of continuous T-cell lymphoma. So first and foremost, you want to give the viewers some insight into exactly what Hybrite is and what this means for Solgenics. Hybrite is a novel skin-directed photodynamic therapy for cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, which is a rare uh, skin disease and cancer. Uh, there's such a need for safe and effective treatments for this disorder, which is my area uh, as a dermatologist. So we're super excited to have been one of the recipients of the competitive uh, FDA orphan grant uh, to look at high bright use uh, in patients over a one year period. Uh, and uh, we hope to um, also extend safety data. And also the novel part of that, this study is where it's real world. So we're going to be able to transition patients from in office to at home uh, treatments with a home unit that's supervised by telemedicine, which should add a lot of really important information. Yeah, it's great to hear. And I mean, how does this uh, new study basically help the physician community as a whole understand how to use Hybrite once it's available on the market? So most skin-directed therapies for cutaneous T-cell lymphoma do take time to, to see full responses. Uh, and so uh, patient compliance and safety is so important. So having a study over a longer time period and giving the flexibility for patients to tra try treatments at home using a home unit uh, will really benefit patient uh, overall responses uh, and satisfaction uh, with the treatment. I appreciate those insights. And finally, how does this new study build up and complement the already successful phase three study published in the GAMA? So this study will allow patients to treat more continuously. Um, the phase three study was very successful, but we had six week discrete cycles with break periods. But since we saw such great safety, uh, we think that we can have continuous treatment without any breaks. So hopefully we'll, we'll see faster time to response, higher responses over the longer time period. Uh, and of course, um, transitioning to home uh, unit use, uh, it'll save patients time in terms of travel uh, and, um, it, and, and lead to better adherence and better responses. Well, I appreciate these insights today, Dr. Kim. I'm going to pass the question off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you guys think about all this in that comment section below. Consider subscribing because as news and catalysts hit the wire, of course, we're going to update you here. But stay cool, stay awesome. And as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.